Welcome back to Virginia this morning here on CBS 6. Increased work on a tablet or computer can cause digital eye strain, irritation, and certainly some discomfort. Andreas recently had an interesting conversation with an expert about the benefits of Blink 20 and what it means. Here's that conversation. Adults and little ones alike are spending far more time in front of screens, and in some cases, multiple screens. Today, I'm joined by Tim Gresham, president and CEO of Connexus, to give us eyesights and insights on their Blink 20 program. Hi, Tim. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Doing well. Excited to be with you. This is an important topic as we think about little eyes that are going to be looking at screens throughout the day. And there's some important things related to eye health that are going to be really important. So Connexus has a wide range of services. Tell us about what you do. Yeah, Connexus uh, is a nonprofit organization and our mission is to eliminate poor vision as a barrier to a child's success. So we spend a lot of time uh, in public schools identifying children with vision issues and then we bring a mobile clinic in uh, with an eye doctor to perform eye exams and then provide free glasses to those um, students that need glasses. So our mission is all about making sure that a, a kid sitting in a classroom is seeing well so that they can take advantage of all of their educational opportunities. And you know, I remember before I got glasses myself, sitting in a classroom, squinting at a whiteboard, trying to see from far away. So this is extremely important, especially for children who may not be able to always communicate exactly what they're feeling or what might be inhibiting their learning. So you've created the Blink 20 program, which has some really important pillars of information and just best practices for families, but also for children. So tell us about that first pillar, the 2020. Yeah, 2020 means that every 20 minutes that you're looking at something close up like a screen, you should look away at least 20 feet for 20 seconds. And that allows your eyes to um, you know, focus on a different length, which helps prevent digital eye strain. Well, that's really important. I think not only for the little ones, but also for us who are often racing against a deadline, looking at multiple screens. But this is especially important when your child might be working on a tablet, even outside of their formal learning opportunities, to make sure that they're doing that throughout the day and not just while they're in school. That's right. It's really easy to be focused on that, you know, that near vision uh, focal point. And it's just important to remember every 20 minutes to look away at least 20 feet for 20 seconds. And with that said, the next pillar that you talk about is maintaining that appropriate distance, making That's, sure you're not too close. And I think we used to hear this a lot about televisions, that you right. shouldn't sit right in front of the television. But now, you know, that was more of a leisurely type of thing. Now we're talking about what you need to do to not only be successful in the classroom, but also in the workplace. And making sure that your workspace is well designed is extremely important. That's right. A lot of us have new workspace now at home and particularly these students. So you want to try to arrange it so that your laptop or your Chromebook is about 23 to 25 inches away from your eyes. That's a good healthy distance for your eyes to be able to, uh, to work well. And again, to reduce um, digital eye strain. So 23 yeah. to 25 inches. I think that, you know, in some of our workspaces, especially the ones that we've built almost in a makeshift fashion at home, they're not as ergonomic as maybe they would be if you were sitting at a formal desk or in a formal office chair. So keeping that in mind and actually having that metric for 23 to 24 inches is really important and very easy for people to keep in mind. It is. Sure yeah. Is. So then you have the aspect of blinking frequently. Right. And I think this is something that we just, like breathing, we get used to doing, but we're not necessarily focused on it. So what's your best tip for making sure that we're blinking enough throughout yeah, the end of our day? It's really interesting when you're looking and you're focused on um, a screen like a laptop, we tend to blink a lot less just because we're like laser focused in. So this is just to remind you to intentionally blink. And if, if you don't blink enough, obviously your eyes become dry and irritated and we don't want anybody to be irritated, but we don't have, want to have irritated eyes either. So it's just a good idea just to remind yourself to, to just blink a few extra times while you're doing your, your work on a screen. 
Yeah, and I'm sitting here as you're saying that, blinking more even right now because right. really don't pay attention to how many times you blink or how many times you don't blink. So that okay. is really critical too. So then the importance of getting outside and That's you know, right. especially when we're working from home, learning from home, you know, trying to stay as safe as possible in this day and age, we may not be going outside as much as possible. And children may not be getting outside for recess and other things like they might have done in a structured school schedule. So right. what are your tips for getting outside and why is that particularly important for your eye health? Yeah, well, it's, it's important to be outside and to play outside. Um, you know, when, when I was younger, we were sort of kicked out of the house all the time to go outside and play. And that's you know happening less and less today. And as you mentioned, if children aren't in a structured environment at school where they're going out um, side, need to just be diligent about that. Natural light uh, is good for your eyes. And uh, so that's one aspect of it. Another is that if you're outside playing, then you are um, changing the focus of your eyes continuously. You're looking at something five feet away and 100 feet away and 20 feet away and just forcing your eye muscles to, to focus at different points. So that's also um, a, a good reason to be outside and, and to play outside. Well, like I said, there's so many of these great pieces of advice are things that we should all be doing, not just the children, but you're specifically focused on going into schools and making sure that children have the resources that they need. If someone wanted to learn more or to reach out to you, how would they do that? Yeah, our website is connexusvision.org and we have lots of information there. In fact, the Connexus Blink 20, we have a link there where you can actually download uh, just a one pager that you could stick up by your uh, by your laptop as a reminder or to pass along to your to your kids or other family members too well thank you so much for the work that you do i know that for me even at a young age when we identified that i needed glasses it was so important and now i don't go anywhere without them i can hear better because i can see better and i thank you so much for all that you do and for being with us this this morning Thank you. It was a real pleasure. Thanks for having us. To learn more about Connexus and the Blink 20 program, please visit our website.